Welcome to the Den of Tools. Hi there, hello guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the Den of Tools. And we've talked about the top tools to buy when you're at Home Depot, when you're at Lowe's, when you're, you're at Harbor Freight and other places. But the one thing we haven't talked about is what are the go-to tools when you're shopping on Amazon? Amazon's become a real player in the tool market. So let's jump into it and see what you should be going for when you're over on the Amazons. All right, now power tools are one of the biggest things that everybody buys here. And it's really easy to see they, they've got a bunch of the big name tools. We've got Craftsman, we've got DeWalt, we've got Bosch, they've got Makita. They, and they have a bunch of no-name stuff like, I mean, Porter Cable, I'm not sure who they are. Uh, no, I, I joke, but uh, Ryobi and everybody else, about any power tool that can be found anywhere is on Amazon. But the problem is with this is that Amazon doesn't usually have the deepest discounts on a regular basis kind of thing. Every once in a while, we'll, we'll see a good deal on there. We'll throw it up, we'll put it up on the deals of the week or we have it over on the channel and stuff. But when it comes to power tools, I was kind of, at least cordless power tools, I was kind of in a quandary, what would be the, the go-to tool over there? And you're gonna be kind of surprised by this one. We're gonna talk about TechPo. TechPo, this is Aki, AKA TacLife, the whole pair of company. The more I find out about this company, the more I realize how many tool brands and, and accessories and stuff they own. It's kind of ridiculous. But that said, we've done some testing. They did send us a drill at one point, and we've done some testing. I've passed around to some friends. They've passed around to some other people, all people who are pros, professionals, use this daily, and all of them were impressed by it. I got to tell you, the TacLife stuff is just okay. The tech post stuff, they're built like tanks. I, I kid you not. We've got brushless. Uh, they've got some brushless tools. They've got brushed tools. We've got the sander, the, uh, you know, a lot of corded stuff. I like the corded stuff. I think cord stuff's, you know, overlooked often. But this brushless uh, drill driver here, this thing is an absolute tank. Comes with two batteries. The bits are junk and the, you know, whatnot. And the charger's, the charger's okay. It's not a fast charger, rapid charger, but it does the job. And for the price for $85, it's not a bad deal. Now, this is, am I going to say that this is the brand you want to invest in? I, I, it's not the brand I would invest in. I'm not going to buy into a brand that doesn't have a full line of tools. But for some people, they just need a drill. They're not, they're not buying an entire line. They just need a one-off. Or maybe they just don't even like going to Home Depot or Lowe's or something like this. Look at this. We got an impact driver from them. Half-inch impact driver now. Or not impact driver. This is actually impact wrench. They call it impact driver wrench there. That, that's a new one. I hadn't seen that one before. Uh, they've got a, a ton of tools here. Different colors. That, like, that's a thing. Uh, but anyway, we you, you really got to consider them. If you're looking for an alternative, you don't want to go with one of the main brands or shop at the main stores. You're shopping off of Amazon. Maybe you're in a far remote, remote location. I got to tell you, the, the tools work. They do work, and they're not then the price on them. You got to really respect the price on them. All right. Another power tool I got to talk about is something you can't really find in any other brick and mortar store. And you're going to see that's kind of a trend here as to why I'm suggesting many of these tools, why you'd want to go to uh, Amazon rather than Home Depot or Lowe's or, you know, Harbor Freight or Menards or any of the other big uh, hardware stores. So the Black & Decker here, but now Black & Decker is all but dead, especially in the cordless. They're really hard to find. They've been pulled out of most stores. But this, this one, as you can see, I purchased this on October 4th, 2020. October 14th. This is their matrix line. And what that means is that the base model, the drill there is, is a core unit and all these different power heads attached to it. This kit here comes for, with a drill driver, a sander, a router, impact driver, uh, jigsaw, and an oscillating multi-tool. That's yeah, a router. I was really stunned about the router. And that's not all they have. There's a whole slew of more attachments that go with this thing. It's ridiculous for a home gamer. Now, should a pro use this? Maybe not, but for the home gamer, this is a great little setup, especially if you've got a small shop. I highly recommend this for people who travel. Uh, you know, people are doing the van life, living in, in RVs, living on a boat, that sort of thing. This is great for that. Now, this price on here, $279. That's a ridiculous price. I don't know where that came from. It just shot up to that recently. Usually, it's been just under $200. If you want to get it right now, you can still get the white kit. Apparently, that's a thing. Look at that. This is, hold on, let me click on this link here. There, look at that. This I didn't even know they made one in white, much less that it was, you know, significantly less expensive than the other one. Now, if you want to hold out about once a year, usually around Prime Days and Black Fridays in that time period, which is right now, but 
go figure it's not at that price it it, lo it drops down to around 160 but if you're wanting to grab it now you can grab it at 190 th in in white and nobody else is going to have it right <laughs> Anyway, I just had to throw it out there because it is such a unique kit, and it's one of the few things that's made by Black & Decker that I generally do appreciate. All right, another thing I'm going to talk about is a ratcheting wrenches, the E-wrenches, as, as I like to call them here. Yes, you know, Milwaukee makes a fantastic one. A lot of people make a fantastic one, but maybe you don't want to get into a 12-volt line. Maybe that you don't care about that. And in many cases, you know, for the DIY or home hobbyist weekend warrior type, you just like, hey, I want to try the ratcheting wrench thing. I don't want to invest entirely into a 12-volt line. Uh, there's a lot of choices out there. I'm going to say avoid the chemo. I know a lot of people like chemo. You've gotten from chemo. A lot of the YouTubers have really soured on them having dealt with the company themselves. They're not the most, uh, let's just say, I did not feel they were the most upstanding people in the world. Uh, so now uh, the, and it's funny because the one, the other one I'm going to talk about is the, how do they pronounce this? The Polito, Politio, I don't know, I don't care. Uh, anyway, I have, they sent me their, uh, their, it was not a diagram or polisher kind of thing. And they were kind of weird. They were kind of weird about it, but maybe they were just new to it, but they got some really cool tools. They have this kit here, it comes with two batteries. You know, the sockets, who cares about the sockets? You're probably never going to use the sockets, but the, uh, you get the charger, you get an actual base charger, you get two batteries, the case and the tool there for $55 and they have a coupon down there. You click it, you get an extra 10%. That's going to take five fifty off that. So now you're looking at a sub $50 ratchet. That's not a bad deal to get into these things. And, and to be honest, a lot of people have tested and they come back and I've heard just as many people say that they've lasted forever as people said that, you know, I bought, I'm not talking about this brand specifically, but all across these like generic ratchets that they lasted forever. A few people like I bought it and it died, but I've heard the same thing from some Milwaukee folks as well. And if you consider this, like, well, what do you do? You know, they all have these kind of weird batteries and stuff. There are generic batteries out there you can probably buy to replace this that are on Amazon. But what do you do when the when both batteries on this die? Well, you buy a new one is what you do. And you're, you may think that's a little bit ridiculous. You know, who would who would suggest such a thing? 50, I mean, if was it, we're talking $49.50. Why buy a new one? We can get an M12 battery for $60. It's literally cheaper than a single Milwaukee battery. Yeah, these go on sale and stuff, but you know, it, at the end of the day, it, it that's a pretty cheap tool to get two batteries with. All right, let's talk about shop vacs. Now, this is one thing that you know I was thinking about, and it seemed a bit ridiculous. Like with shipping and everything, how could Amazon keep up with with shop vacs? You think it'd be ridiculous, and and I don't know how they do it. But if you look at this, if you go to Home Depot, and that's where we are here now. You're basically stuck with rigid, except for some of the specialty smaller, like hand vacs and stuff like that. So if you want a nice, decent sized shop vac and you go to Home Depot, you're getting rigid. You go to Lowe's and you're getting, uh, you know, Stanley Black & Decker. You're getting Craftsman or DeWalt. And, and that's your choices there. That that That's it. That You have two manufacturers essentially to choose from. And it's really limiting. But if you go to Amazon, we got VacMaster. We got uh, Workshop, Armor All, Hoover, ShopVac, Makita, Stinger, Buckethead, Vacuumate. It's just all just ridiculous amount of brands, ridiculous amount of options here. Look at this one. The top, the motor comes off and is a blower. This one's wall mounted. All right. You got handheld. You got portables. You got steel canisters. They have tons and tons of options here. And, and the pricing on it is actually really good and it's comparable, comparable to uh, all the other ones. So just take it. I'm not saying that this is a better choice, but they're going to give you a broader choice for sure. Lots of different brands, lots of different solutions here. Some really just innovative ones, things you're not going to see at the big box uh, or any of the hardware stores probably. That's another reason why you may want to look at uh, Amazon when it comes to shop vacs. I know, I call them shop vacs, wet dry vacs. The, the bear's bad, bad bear, I know. Win, all right. <laughs> I, I just, we got to preface this as, you know, bench tools is really what I'm talking about, but they have such a wide variety of tools. They kind of fill a spot between Harbor Freight's central machinery and, you know, uh, shops like Grizzly and, and, you know, and up from there. So there's kind of, there's kind of a gap in there and they kind of slide right into that gap with some of these tools. Now I know some people like wind construction zone. I, I don't know about that in the, the, the mini mill, but they've got a lot of other fantastic tools for your shop. A lot of great bench top tools. We're going to jump through some of them real quick. 
the uh, the planer we've talked about. This is they've got several different planers. They've got a basic planer, a three blade planer, and this is their spiral uh, head uh, bench top planer for four fifty three. And each one of these, they're 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 right on par with everyone else in their class, but they're beating them on price every single time. I know a lot of uh, people who have these planers and they love them. Uh, the air unit, the best seller on all of Amazon for shop dust collectors. And they have everything from a $139 unit, uh, the two, 268, the 290, all the way up to the 1044 CFM, you know, full shop unit there uh, for, well, at a price of 460. But still, when it comes to, and remember, you know, dust collection is nice, but dust collection isn't about your health. Dust collection is about keeping the shop clean. That's literally what it does. The small microns, the the, the small dust, the little bitty things, those are the things that really end up hurting you that go into your lungs. That's what you got to need. That's what you need to get rid of. And that's what these air filtration uh, systems do. I know you see people strapping air filters to a fan. You, you got, I've, I've tried it. You don't, you don't get any airflow through those things. The fans aren't strong enough to really pull the air to get the CFM. That's cubic feet per minute. You got to move the air to filter the air. All right, let's move along with some other bench top stuff. We got the wind bench top uh, sander here. You got a belt sander. You got a disc sander. We've talked about this one. Everyone sells one like this, but we got to talk about the price on this. You know, the, the price on these, they go up and they go down. This thing in the last year has hit a price of $100, $106. Uh, right now it's at $112. The standard price is usually just over $120 to, to $130 in that range. You're not going to find many, uh, many uh, bench sanders like this of this quality in that price. Moving along, we've talked, I've talked a whole bunch. I don't think anybody's on YouTube's talked as much about the oscillating belt and spindle sanders. Every company has them. Harbor Freight has one now. It's a fantastic one. Honestly, I really like it. But the win one for the longest time was the best go-to for the price. And it's really weird because the stock on these things, sometimes they're in stock, sometimes they're not. And that's everyone. Everyone's had that problem, except for somehow Harbor Freight's managed to lock down supply on those things. Even Rigid, who started this category, has had issues with pricing. Price on this is bounces back between 205 and and 260 and at 214 not a bad pickup on that one the belt sander the one inch by 30 inch belt sander with the disc 82 dollars and 19 cents again this is another amazon's choice price on this jumps between 78 which has only hit once in the last year and up to 131 which honestly it's only hit once in a year usually it's in the like 90 just under sub 90 dollar range so it's a little bit cheaper than average right now but this is if you're looking for a small detail sander this is for the bench this is a great option how about drill presses this everything from your eight inch five speed drill press to a 12 inch variable speed this is a digital variable speed drill press for two for sub 300 295 dollars it's the number one best seller in power magnetic drill presses why why why? This isn't magnetic. Why is this in magnetic drill presses? Amazon's a little weird about this, but this is the Amazon choice over here for drill presses on the 8-inch one for $117. Is this better than Harbor Freight? Yeah, it is. It, is it substantially better than Harbor Freight? Eh, it's hard to say that one. It's got a better table. Uh, the the I would say all around, it's like 10 to 15% better. It, does that account for the difference in price? For you, maybe not. For some people, sure will. This thing, I, I know some YouTubers and some other guys who have this, they love that thing. Now let's talk about hand tools, okay? So hand tools, one of the one of the ones that uh, Amazon's really got locked down is gear wrench. Especially if you're looking at wrenches, especially if you're looking at the uh, ratcheting wrench. I mean, it's in the name, gear wrench. They've kind of developed and started the whole trend towards the modern ratcheting wrench. That's kind of their thing, and they do a great job on it. I have a set of these myself. You know, I have several different, you know, sets from different manufacturers. Uh, will I say they're better than my Icons? I don't know. I really like my Icon set, but they're in that same kind of kind of grade. The, the fit and finish on them is fantastic. They also have fantastic uh, chrome sockets as well. Six points, and they got impacts, and the, the, some of the best deals coming with the strip. If you're looking for you know, that kind of professional grade kind of socket and stuff. They make a fine socket. Now, another company is called SATA. <laughs> if you don't know this, they're made by the same company. 
Apex, who makes a ton of tools, probably makes a lot of the tools that are in your toolbox right now under a different name. Apex owns these guys. This is their 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 Goldilocks zone. This is the middle bear kind of thing. So if GearWrench is their top of the line, this is their middle line. I don't know if do they have a cheap line. I, I don't know. But anyway, this is a really overlooked line of tools. Not a lot of people talking about SATA. They make some fantastic stuff. We got all sorts of wrenches, all the basically all the same stuff you're going to see in the gear wrench line, just a little bit cheaper, not quite the same quality as you're going to see with the gear wrench, but really not that bad. Actually quite good, especially for the price. You got three quick release ratchets here for $35. You've got the standard slim head one pear shaped ones there for $61. And they have the sockets too, just amazing socket sets. All sorts of stuff, every single shape and size you can possibly want. Definitely something you should consider. All right, screwdrivers. Oh my gosh, Wera. We need to start talking more about Wera because these guys make, I know they're weird looking. They really are. But once you hold one in your paw, you're going to be like, I get it. I totally get it, Bear. I know why you like these. I know why you talk about them. And you're going to see a lot of pros, especially pros who do detail kind of work. Who, who are doing like electronics, stuff like that, you're going to see them using Wera screwdrivers. Wera makes fantastic screwdrivers, all sorts of different sets. And they're, they're you know what? Here's what's really weird. You can't buy them anywhere except online. Go to Home Depot. I checked all 10 of the top 10 hardware stores in the United States. None of them carry Wera in the store. Not a one. Everything from Home Depot to Lowe's to Menards, Harbor Freight, all the way down to True Value and Ace. None of them. Nobody has these in line. They're a German-made uh, screwdriver company. Their their motto is "Be a tool renegade," and they're fantastic. And I can't believe nobody talks about them. And really, the best place right now to buy them is on Amazon. All right, and and I get to have to admit, some people, Dan. Now I'm not going to name names, Dan. But some people have a problem with collecting the bottle openers that they make. <laughs> anyway, by the way, check out Audubon Dan over on Instagram. And you can track his uh, his problem with us. All right. Other hand tools, pliers. I got to talk about channel lock. Now, channel lock is a tool you can buy at a lot of different places. They're, they're all over. A lot, of, a lot of stores have channel locks. But the, what I find is they don't have an amazing selection of channel lock. And often they're not on sale. And you can find some really great sales on Amazon. And what makes them great is Chainlock is a really made-in-the-USA company. They've been making tools, hand tools, for over 100 years. They're, they've been at the same plant, I think, for like some like 60 or 70 years. Actually, I think they have two plants there. They, they, they're, they're employing Americans. They're designed in America. They're making American tools, unlike Crescent. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like Crescent tools. Crescent makes some decent tools, but a lot of the stuff that you expect to be made in the U.S. just isn't. And they, they've thrown their brand all over the place. That said, Channelock has kind of thrown their brand around as well. If you get a hold of one of their catalogs, it's hilarious to go through there and see what they've put in this this blue and the Channelock name on top of. But when it comes to pliers, it's hard to go wrong going with Channelock. Do they make the best pliers in everything? No. All right. Knipex makes the, some Cobra pliers that are just fantastic. They're beautiful things. Klein makes some good pliers. There's a lot of people making good pliers. But all in all, like these needle nose right here, the longer she, I love those pliers. I just absolutely love the. the I have this set of pliers. I love the, these pliers. All right. They, they make a lot of fantastic pliers. You definitely should consider them, especially checking out to see when they're on sale. By the way, are you subscribed to the channel? Because if you are, you should be seeing the deals of the week video. And I'm every week I'm checking for deals on channel lock on Amazon and we try to throw them into the video so you can slowly build your collection at a decent price. All right. Impact sockets. We got to talk about Kazamon. Kazamon has been one of those companies slowly building. They're a generic rebrander from China. I get it. But for the DIYer, they make some decent impact sockets. They really do. And one of the things they really do well is they do laser etching on so they're easy to read. But we, as we all know, over time, that laser etching will rub off. So almost all their sockets that I've looked at are also rolled stamped with the, with the size on it. So once, you know, five, ten years, however long from now, that laser etching is gone, you still have the roll stamping on it. You'll still be able to use the tool. We did. We had lots of people chime in when I did a survey on like the best tools that nobody talks about, saying they've got the Kazamon sockets, and they absolutely love them. And they make a ridiculous 
assortment of sockets. Look at all this. They have a huge selection of stuff and the pricing is really is is decent and when it goes on sale it's fantastic. All right, next up, hand tool sets. Now, as the bear said, I'm not a big fan of hand tool sets. I've said this time and time again. I think often you're you're giving up quality for quantity and and I'm I'm not prepared to back away from that so much. But as you can see, on September 14th, I bought this set. In fact, I bought several sets of these and because we started a conversation talking about what about you know the people who do need basic tool sets like this. This is what their budget is, or especially for traveling. As you all know, I bounce back and forth between Montana and Vegas. Every trip back and forth is 1,600 miles. We do a lot of driving here. We do that trip about three or four times a year. So I do a fair amount of uh, driving, especially just driving around Montana. It's a huge state. It's it's massive. It's ridiculous how big this state is. Anyway, the fact is I needed a tool set to keep in the truck. So I've been trying to find what's the best combo tool set to get. And I was looking at channel locks, but they're ridiculously expensive. They didn't quite have the set I want. So then I started looking at a, a Crescent and Crescent came close. In fact, I found a set, this exact set, from Crescent, because one of the things I wanted was I wanted the three ratchets. I wanted a pair of tongue and groove, AKA channel locks. You know, I wanted an adjustable plier and I wanted some needle nose I, I need, uh, for traveling. Cause not everything is a straight up mechanical. You could have electrical problems and you can have some problems of like, well, I need to just grab this thing and move it. I had a bent fender well on a, uh, uh, a trailer and I had to bend it back out of the place. That's where some, a set of pliers like this really comes in handy in that emergency toolkit because you need, sometimes there's something that all this rest of the stuff doesn't fit or it's stripped or it needs, you know, something else. Anyway, point is, these are these were my requirements of something that I needed to have. Yes, it's got this weird box on it. I don't know why they do it, but it's kind of cool looking, I guess. But anyway, so Crescent doesn't make this anymore, or at least they don't have it out right now. I'm not really sure, but... This is the exact same set. Now, remember I said Crescent doesn't make their tools or many of their tools in the U.S. anymore. My guess is this is the actual manufacturer selling the tool kit now that Crescent isn't selling it themselves. Just conjecture there. But anyway, I'm we're going to have a video coming up here in the next couple of weeks where we're going to do this comparison. We're going to get down to the fact of what is the best portable tool set out there. Okay, moving along, torque wrenches. Now, torque wrenches, a lot of people, I know like you all like the Lexiv online. There's some other ones out here. We got the E-Torque. We got the AC Delco. That's not a bad one there. 100 bucks there for an ele electronic one. We got the EP Auto one. There's a lot of great solutions out here when it comes to torque wrenches on Amazon. A lot cheaper than some of the bigger brands and stuff like that. But I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again. And I think the option that most you know, clearly this is not the, you know, the solution for the pros. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe they should be looking at this. Digital torque adapters. They're, when these first came out, a lot of people rolled their eye. They can't be accurate, blah, blah, blah. I think I and a bunch of other YouTubers and stuff and testers have proven that these things are actually pretty accurate. And they don't need the, the kind of constant kind of babying than an actual torque wrench does. You know, I have some nice click style torque wrenches and they're like sacred artifacts. You got to lock them in their case, make sure that they, they're at the you know right temperature, make sure that, that they're not being, you know, abused or dropped or stored properly and everything else. And they take up a huge amount of space. You get a half inch, a three eighths, a quarter inch, and they're all in their blow molded cases. This thing is like the size of a pack of Twinkies in a box, you get your quarter inch, you get your half inch, you get your three eighths inch. It does it all digital. This one, this one does, what was it? The, uh, the, the precision, it does it, it does it in kilograms per centimeter, newt meters, foot pounds, and inch pounds, all using just the ratchet you already have with these adapters for $45. That's the price of one, one of these other torque wrenches. And you get all three torque wrenches and four different calibration, four different measurements on it. It's easy to read. You can never miss the beep on it. Now, some people say, I don't like the other one. You know, you like what you like. The bear's not going to tell you you have to like something else. The bear will tell you, you should consider it. You should look into it. There's a lot of things. My wife is one of these folks. I got to tell you, folks, the bear's wife, she's one of these people. I'll get her a gadget or something for the kitchen. She loves gadgets, but she's so set in her way, she won't try it. Then a year later, kid you not, a year later, she'll get a wild hair, bust it out of the box, and then come to me like, this is the best thing ever. Why didn't I ever use this thing before? 
The bear tells you about these things. And this happens on the channel all the time. I preach and I preach and people finally start listening. I get start getting the emails like, I finally tried it. You were right. I should have done this a long time ago. Clear out space in your box. Get one of these. Get rid of all the other blow molded cases you have for your torque wrenches. Give yourself extra space in that box and get something that's as or more accurate for, for much, much cheaper. All right, speaking of gadgets, we got to talk about some other gadgets. I talked about this one a lot, the digital angle gauge. This can be used for so many things. Of course, I talk about it on the table saw, but you can use it around the shop for all sorts of stuff. You can use it around the house. It, you know, it is magnetic, so it will stick to things, but you can also hold it to something in case for some reason it doesn't want to uh, to uh, to stick to it, like it's aluminum or something else. Look, at this one's got the V-slot in it, so we're attached to a pipe and whatnot. These things are fantastic. They're very accurate. They do a great job. And it's $21. $21 for accuracy that you don't have to guess at. All right, next up. This thing, we've talked about the recon for your miter saw. I love this thing. It's fantastic. It is in full production. This is the production model now. It's $150. Sure, some of you may not want it. I don't need it. I like doing things the old-fashioned way. I like having to measure once and cut twice. That's fine. That's you. You do that. But at the price of lumber these days, I know, the bear's joking. But it, it's a great tool. I have a lot of fun using it. And I don't have to then, you know, guess about, like, you know, how much am I putting through? Is it always right? It's right every single time. And I don't have to break out the tape measure to make sure of it. It just speeds up my production. Somebody tried to say it doesn't get out of the way. This arm locks up when you're not using it. So for something like that, and if you need to take it off, you just squeeze the back on it and it pops right off. It's not a big thing, guys. So <laughs> I don't know why people, uh, they, it's like they, it's like listening to some people complain about tools and stuff like this. It's like listening to those bad infomercials like, you know how hard it is to make an egg? And the egg goes, I'm like, no, that, that's never been a problem for me. All right. <laughs> Speaking of gadgets, I got to talk about the drill brushes. You know I do. I know the bear's beating the dead horse over this one. But if you haven't bought the drill brushes, or drill brushes you got to buy the drill brushes. These things are fantastic. You will never clear, clean your grill or your shower or any your tires, anything the same way once you've used a power tool. Have I used them to do my dishes? I mean, they show it right there. Where is it right here? He's like, doing his dishes. Who uses the, this for their dishes? I tried it. It's fantastic. The wife laughs at me. She won't let me near him again, but, but it worked just fine. <laughs> anyway, and it was oh, currently unavailable. Are you kidding me? This was not just unavailable. Here we go. Here's the, here's another set. There we go. $26.95. Oh, the bear's, bear's having a day. He's having a day here. Anyway, there you go. There's your set right there, $26.95. All right, and I, I got to give a shout out to WorkPro. I love these 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 cutters. My I, We've got six of them floating around the house. I got three more. I thought, oh, I'll be, got three more. I got the wife her own WorkPro. Uh, they sent, actually, WorkPro sent her one of those pink, you know, uh, breast cancer awareness ones. They're doing this whole breast cancer awareness thing. They sent that to the wife, so she went steal mine. So she's like, oh, this is great. So she's got this right now. I kid you not, on her belt is the pink one. And in her pocket is one of my slim ones. The bear can't win. Anyway, there you go. That's some of the tools I think that you should definitely be looking at for on Amazon. Yes, we all love going into Home Depot or Lowe's or Harbor Freight or Menards or whatnot. Even Ace and your local hardware stores. Riverside Hardware, Livingston, Montana. Check out uh, Hardware Dan down there. Got to give him a shout out. Love going into the stores, but sometimes you can't. Sometimes a lot of these oddball kind of tools, they're hard to find. And sometimes when it just comes down to price, all right, price and availability, especially in 2021, availability is king, isn't it? Anyway, that's all the bear has for you. If you think I missed any tools that you think should be bought on Amazon rather than brick and mortar, put it down in the comments below. Let me know what you think. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.